Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to do this tutorial for you guys. Um, I asked you guys in our Instagram stories what tutorial you would like to see me do next. And someone said a candy cane tumbler and I got way too excited because I think that is so cute. Um, so this is my take on a candy cane tumbler. I hope you guys like this tutorial. So to create the stripes, um, I cut out um, strips of removable vinyl and um, the reason I did that instead of using um, painters tape is because I wanted to make them a little bit smaller than an inch um, I will post the exact measurements of these strips in the description box um, but basically I'm kind of just eyeballing it here um, I'm trying to space them out evenly um, it doesn't have to be perfect um, as long as it looks even everything is okay if you are one of those people who likes very precise measurements you can absolutely apply your stripes um however it works best for you this is just the method that i chose to do and it worked really well for me i can't wait to show you guys the final product okay i'm getting way ahead of myself anyway guys i'm basically going to repeat this process and just kind of maneuver the stripes around a little bit until i get them exactly how i want them um, but I'm going to not bore you with my voice anymore. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of music while I finish applying these stripes. Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. the vinyl and this is what it looks like this is what the candy cane tumbler looks like so I am going to epoxy this and I'm gonna just put a tiny little bit of glitter in the epoxy and I'll be right back to show you guys that step next year I could be just as good if you check off my Christmas list Santa baby I want a yacht and really that's not a lot I've been an angel all year Santa baby so hurry down the chimney tonight hey guys now it's time to place our decal I got it off of Etsy um, so I printed it on water slide paper and what I'm going to do just to make sure that our image is very vibrant once we place it on the cup is I took white vinyl and I cut out the exact same shape as the decal. And the reason I did this is so that when we place our water slide so that it's very vibrant and you can't see the stripes behind it. I'm just going to squeegee out my water, let it dry and then epoxy it. Christmas time is here. Happiness and cheer, fun for all the children call. It's time to do the drip. Oh my gosh, I'm so stinking excited. I'm going to be using brown acrylic paint that I got at Walmart. Um, and I'm also going to be using Nice and Thick by Counter Culture. And it's basically a powder that helps you save so much time. Instead of having to wait 30 to 40 minutes for your epoxy to get thick, this little powder right here helps it get thick in just minutes. So I, I love that so much. And the consistency that you want on your epoxy depends on how low you want your drip to go. If you don't want it to go down very low, you almost want a putty-like consistency, like a very thick consistency. I want my drip to run down almost touching the top of the decal so I'm gonna let it thicken up but not too too much and here you see me guys you see me guys dead oh my gosh embarrassing here you see me adding brown acrylic paint to the epoxy to make it look like chocolate or so I think it does anyway guys what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take a popsicle stick and start adding small amounts of epoxy to the rim of the cup um, I apologize if the it's not a very good angle but I can't apply the 
the drip holding the cup sideways because the drip will run to the sides instead of running down. Um, so what I do in the areas where I want the drip to go down a little bit further, I add a bigger, um, a larger amount of epoxy. Um, and a good tip for beginners is you can use a disposable cup if you're nervous and you don't want to mess up your cup. And you can start doing the drip on there. And that way you don't have to put the epoxy on your actual cup until you have the consistency that you want um, and the drip is going where you want it on the disposable cup. I'm going to babysit this cup for a little bit and flip it back and forth until the epoxy stops running because I don't want the drip to run down too low and I also um, don't want the it to leave the top of the cup exposed. I want to push the epoxy back down to the rim so that I have full coverage. I hope that this has been helpful. Last Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Last Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day you gave it away this year to save me from tears i'll give it to someone special